up, Amelia here. You're watching Newsbreak. Check out the best movies of the year and the not so best movies of the year. And celebrating Buddy Franklin's 1000th goal. But before we get to that, you have to subscribe. Well, you don't have to, but it'd be nice. Today, Hollywood celebrated its night of all nights, the Oscars. There were some big winners, fabulous outfits, and even a brand new award. Here's Joe to fill you in. Oh, is that Zendaya? Yep, it's that time of year again. Time for Hollywood's greatest to gather together in, um, Hollywood for the 94th Academy Awards, or the Oscars. Now, while there were plenty of big winners, including for the new fan favourite award, the night's been overshadowed by a confrontation between Will Smith and Chris Rock. It all started when Chris Rock got up on stage to present the award for Best Documentary. He made a joke about Will's wife, Jada. That referred to her shaved head. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it, all right? Smith then got up on the Oscars stage and hit Chris Rock in the face. That was the greatest night in the history of television. Okay. It seemed to leave everyone, including those of us watching it at home, pretty shocked and confused about what had happened. Will Smith actually went on to win Best Actor for his role in King Richard, where he plays Richard Williams, the father of Serena and Venus Williams. Smith used his speech to apologise. I want to apologise to the Academy. I want to apologise to my, all my fellow nominees. But um, not to Chris Rock. But it didn't stop the awards ceremony. The night's biggest award for Best Picture went to Coda. It's the first film with a largely deaf cast to win the award. It's been a huge year, and I for one am hoping for a little less drama in 2023. It may not be quite as big a deal as the Oscars, but let's take a moment now for the Razzies. The Razzies, or Golden Raspberry Awards, honour the worst movies and films of the year. Yeah, really. NBA star LeBron James picked up two awards, including Worst Actor for his starring role in Space Jam. Let's end this. Diana the Musical was the biggest winner, though, winning five Razzies, including Worst Picture. It's Women's History Month, so BTN is celebrating some of the incredible women who have changed Australia and the world for the better. Meet Yvonne Gulagong Corley. She's a Wiradjuri woman who was born in 1951 in the tiny New South Wales town of Barellan. When she was a kid, Yvonne was good at everything. Running, swimming, cricket, you name it. But the game she really loved was tennis. When she was little, she would hit a ball against a water tank with a paddle made from a wooden fruit box. And at the age of nine, she got her first tennis racket and started practicing at the local courts. Yvonne says she read a story in a magazine back then. It was about a girl who loved tennis just like her. The girl practiced a lot and one day made it to a place called Wimbledon to play on the magical centre court. Yvonne didn't know it was a real place, but every time she'd hit the ball, she'd imagine she was there. People travelled from all over to watch Yvonne play, and when she was 14, she moved to Sydney to play for one of the best tennis coaches in Australia. She started winning big city tournaments all over the state. Pretty soon, she was off to England to play at Wimbledon in real life. At 19, she found herself face to face with her idol and fellow Aussie, Margaret Court, in the Wimbledon final. She won, and the English newspapers nicknamed her the Sunshine Supergirl. Miss Yvonne Goolagong of Barillon, New South Wales should be the Australian of the Year for 1971. Yvonne went on to win seven Grand Slam titles and managed to win Wimbledon again just before she retired. Well, the main thing I want out of tennis is to enjoy it as much as possible. People say Yvonne played a bit like a ballet dancer, smooth, graceful and excellently skilled. Now let's finish up today's show with some history making moments in sport. That definitely wasn't one. Melbourne Victory have won the A-League Women's Championship. They defeated Sydney FC 2-1 to, to win the grand final for the second year in a row. But it seemed pretty unlikely not that long ago. Victory barely made it into the finals after a tough run of injuries, but they dominated in yesterday's match. 
999 goals, Buddy Franklin. Finally, let's celebrate Buddy Franklin. On Friday night, the AFL star became just the sixth player ever to bag 1,000 goals. The legend becomes immortal. Fans stormed the field and plenty of them were capturing the moment for themselves. He didn't have any other choice, he had to go in. It was a huge celebration. It was just a, an amazing moment, um, one I'll cherish forever. It took more than half an hour for the match to start again as players and fans soaked up this special moment. Well, that's it for now, but we'll be back with more news break for you tomorrow. See you then. Mm. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Go on, you can do it.